Vitesse 21 just released, and in this video, I wanna do some quick hits on what the new features are and allow you to kind of see, is Vitesse 21 something I wanna investigate or upgrade to given the new features? So let's jump in and look at the release blog post. Announcing Vitesse 21. This is the new blog post, so let's scroll down to the what's new in Vitesse 21 overview here. There's a number of cool new features. One of the big ones is improved query compatibility. And specifically within this, support for recursive CTEs. We now have experimental support for it. So this is a great reason to go investigate and test and see how this works. And also if you have feedback about how it is working in your testing, definitely reach out to us and the Vitesse maintainers about that. A couple of other things. V replication. So there's improved uh, or the ability to do reference table materialization and dynamic workflow configuration. So some improvements there. Improved cluster management. Uh, so one thing I'll call out here is the ability for VT Orc to track how many errant GTIDs there are. So this is great for being able to kind of monitor the state and the health of things in your cluster. Another big improvement here with this version of Vitesse is the improved throttler, what we call the multi-metrics throttler. And this provides a lot more granular ability to customize when and how the throttler kicks in for replication. Several other things going on here. We've got improvement to the way online DDL works, improved backup and restore, specifically allowing us to use the MySQL shell engine so that you can take logical backups in text rather than just physical backups, uh, improvements to the Vitesse operator, the Kubernetes operator, also improvements to VT admin, allowing you to have more control over your workflows, and then V explain more detailed trace information that you can get out of vExplain to get more insights into what Vitesse is doing when it's executing certain commands and queries. Okay, so diving a little bit deeper, going into the query compatibility. I had already mentioned the support for recursive CTEs, but another introduction here or reintroduction is for atomic distributed transactions. So we're reintroducing this feature, but kind of in a redesigned way that hopefully will work better and stand the test of time. So if this is a feature that maybe Maybe you've looked at Vitesse before, particularly if you're a large organization that need a lot of servers and sharding. Maybe this is something that you've been curious about and now we're bringing a better support for this into Vitesse. And then recursive CTEs, this is just something that some organizations use in their set of many hundreds or thousands of queries. And again, if that was a blocker, maybe you used it heavily in some of your workloads, now we're bringing support for that. And we're basically getting closer and closer to this goal of making the support for queries that Vitesse can handle match as closely as we can to what is supported in vanilla MySQL. Okay, jumping down to these next two sections, cluster management and VT Orc. Now VT Orc has the ability to monitor the number of errant GTIDs. And this can help, like it says here, with alerting and basically giving your database administrators better insights into when these kinds of errant GTIDs occur. And then with vReplication, a cool new thing is being able to do reference table materialization. And this can help if you're running a big sharded cluster and you have cross shard queries, cross shard joins that need to happen and you want to have data available to your different shards. Okay, coming down to the throttler, particularly the multi-metrics throttler. This is a really interesting feature and I won't read through the whole thing here, but if you read through, you'll basically see how now you can set up your throttler to be able to throttle based on multiple different metrics, including things like query lag, average CPU load, and a couple of other default options that we have. And you can also still set custom replication uh, throttling functions. We have a blog series that our engineer Shlomi has worked on and two of the three parts are out, taking a deep dive into how the design of throttlers work in systems like this. So I recommend you go check that out if you're interested in more details of the design. This feature is a really great improvement to Vitesse and something that can help when you have these large clusters that you're managing. And if you've ever had to deal with issues with replication lag, this is a great improvement to the system. The other improvement is being able to use the MySQL shell engine as a possibility for taking backups. And this can be useful if you want to take a logical backup and basically get a text-based dump of your database rather than taking a physical-based backup, which can still be susceptible if you, if you do a backup based on the physical data, but if there's corruption in that data, that corruption could still end up showing up in your backup. So by taking logical backups, this can be a good way to backup 
though it may take more space, but without the risk or with mitigating the risk of those kinds of things. If you wanna get more insights into what your queries are doing in Vitesse and potentially be able to optimize those queries better, these improvements will hopefully come in handy. So there's vExplain Trace, which like it says, provides better insights into what's going on in Vitesse and the execution paths of your queries. And then also vExplain Keys, which can give you deeper insights into how your queries are interacting with your schema and can also help uncover things like what might make a good sharding key, right? Because you can see how the queries interact with the different columns that are in your tables. We also have made some improvements to the Vitesse Kubernetes operator and have provided support for version 1.31 of Kubernetes. So if you're on that version, you will have support in Vitesse 21. Last but not least, we have improvements to VT admin. So there's some changes that have been made for allowing you to create and monitor and manage replication workflows uh, using VT admin. At the end of the blog here, just some notes about getting involved and contributing back to the community. So if you have any feedback about Vitesse, want to learn more about Vitesse, are interested in what kinds of features are on the roadmap for Vitesse, definitely get involved in the community. Join the community Slack. There's a link here. Go to our GitHub, take a look at some of the issues. If you want an even more detailed look at what's new in Vitesse 21, you can take a look at the release notes, which brings you to GitHub. And you can either look at the change log or the full release notes here, which has tons of details about things like, for example, certain things being deprecated or certain features even being removed from the previous version of a test. So for the full details, definitely go check out here if you are a power user of Vitesse. All right, that's Vitesse 21. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned some new things about Vitesse. If you have questions, please reach out to the Vitesse community on our Slack, on our GitHub, and talk to you later.